Yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Guys, I'm super excited to be sharing this video with you because I have so many people that literally ask me during my streams, which I do stream seven days a week over on twitch.tv. So check me out right here. Twitch.tv, Trippy Mel Mel. Guys, we'd love to have you in on the streams. But back to what I was saying is so many people ask me, how do you get your Call of Duty settings to where they're so clear because most people's are actually dark. So if you'll take a look at my settings right here, and you may not be able to tell, but I know that I can tell. And if you'll just focus really, really hard on this, you'll be able to tell that my settings probably are way different than your settings. And guys, the ones that I'm actually talking to, you're gonna have to have nvidia settings all right so if you don't have nvidia graphic cards or anything like that inside of your pc then you know what you're probably not going to be able to make this change so what i want to do is uh just dive in and show you guys how you can get the same settings as me to where you take away a lot of those shadows you also take away those dark spots like inside of buildings whenever you run in so we're just gonna you know jump into a game here of uh i'll just run plunder no fill and um I'm probably just going to get my booty cheeks uh, slapped there, but hey, it's all good. Anyways, uh, you may see a little bit of lagging. I've had a little bit of issues going on with my GPU, but we're in the process of waiting on the new 3080 to arrive. So shout out for that. We won't have those problems much longer. But anyways, guys, hey, uh, if you're new to the channel, I'd greatly appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Join up with us. We'd love to have you a part of the channel. And also make sure that you ring the bell so that way you're notified every time we drop the content. And uh, if you don't care, uh, if you like the content or if this video was very helpful to you in any type of way or you just want to show support to the channel, drop a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It would mean a lot. Remember, all those likes do go a long ways, guys, and they're very much appreciated. Last but not least, make sure you hit that pretty little arrow at the bottom so you can share it with your neighbors, your peeps, your homies, your family, and most of all, to my number one haters. So they'll continue to always be my number one motivators. All right, guys, so what we're going to do here first is um, I want you to actually just hit your Windows key if you're in a situation like myself. Most of you all can go down to the bottom right hand corner down here and you can look for, you know, your uh, NVIDIA GeForce. That's what you're going to load up and go to. All right. Once you go into your NVIDIA GeForce, uh, it's going to actually look like this. OK, so once you get into the NVIDIA GeForce, it's going to pop up and tell you to, you know, actually get the in game overlays, whatever going uh, to make sure you go up to the top and turn them on. So what I'm going to do is. Uh, I'll actually show you guys the one that I'm wanting to show you here, okay? So we'll probably get killed right here. It's okay. So I want to take you to this here. Let me pull it over on this screen so you guys can see it. You're actually probably going to see it look like this, okay? This is what NGDF, uh, excuse me, NVIDIA GeForce is going to look like when it pops up. And the way that you'll know that you have your in-game overlay turned on, a lot of people don't like to use this. But if you want to change those color settings, then this is what you're going to have to do. So anyways, if you have this little thing right here, this little symbol lit up green, then no matter what, your NVIDIA um, overlay is actually working. If it's not, then you know what I'm saying? All you got to do is just make sure that you click that little settings button right there. And then if you'll just scroll down to where it says in-game overlay, just go ahead and turn it on right here. Flip that over and I just got killed. Flip it over and um, you'll be good to go. So then after that, you can literally just close out of that. And what you'll do is once you open up Modern Warfare, Warzone, whatever you guys want to call it, you want to hit Alt Z, okay? And it's going to come up and tell you that, like the little bar will pop up at the top. Then you want to go to Game Filter. Once you go to Game Filter, guys, it, right here, all of this is going to be blank. So you've got one, you've got two, and it's going to look just like this. You've got three, and you can turn it off anytime you want to. Remember, you don't want to add too much strain to it because you are affecting your graphic card during this process. And you're also affecting, you know, your whole computer in general, including your monitors. But it not in a bad way. It's just that you can put too much strain on it. All right, we're just going to go ahead and fly to the other end for now. So what you want to do is you want to go to Add Filters. When you click on this, you want to make sure that you add brightness, contrast, and then you want to add details. Leave it like that, and then, you know what? We'll go ahead and we'll make the jump real quick. And we will literally just land somewhere. I don't really know. We're just going to go over here on the outskirts somewhere, okay? And make sure you have your game open during this process, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and float once again. If they kill me, they kill me. 
We're going to walk over these settings. So Alt plus Z will get you back into it. When you get to brightness, what I want you to do is I want you to go to exposure. All right. So exposure, if you can get it on 0%, please do that. I've got mine on negative one. Just because when you slide the bar, sometimes it likes to hop over here or skip to the next. So it doesn't really matter. But if you can get it to zero, please leave your exposure to zero. You don't want it to expose the brightness too much because then it's just like, Bam, everything's all in your face. And that may look good to you, you know, at a certain extent, I guess you could say, or maybe certain games. But as far as Call of Duty, that's not what you want. Then you want to go down to your contrast. You want to set it at 31%, okay? Your contrast is kind of like it's in between brightness and sharpness. So, you know, you want the contrast is definitely what you want. So if you can get in there and throw that on about 31%, I would run it between 30 and 40%. Kind of a personal preference thing but put it on 31 as far as your highlights guys you can jack it up and you can make this thing as bright as all get out but to be honest with you do not run your highlights you're also going to put another strain on your gpu and make things a hundred times worse and you could possibly start noticing a lot of frame drops during game and then you want to go into shadows okay so let's just take a look at shadows you want to put it on about negative 50 percent that's the negative range okay so what i'm going to do here is i want to go out and i want to see if uh we can actually get started over here uh, let me see i don't know if this building will work but shadows is going to be perfectly great for buildings all right so let's say okay let's say that i ran in this building right here okay and you had no idea that I was uh, in this building, okay? So I'm in here camping, whatever. When you first open up the building like this, when you come in, oh, hang on, let me go to this building over here. This would be perfect, all right? I don't know that I'll survive through it over here. I don't have my sound turned up in my ear so I can talk to you guys. And you know what? Sometimes it makes it hard. So we're going to try to get in this building here without dying. And we'll see what we get, all right? So, let's just say back here is where we started at, okay? Whenever we first come in, say like right here, usually if I was running through here, then all of this, no matter what, would be very, very dark, okay? And whenever it's very, very dark like that, then it's hard for you to see exactly who's sitting there. So, if you're running through this building right here, the moment that you come sliding in, those corners would be really, really dark. Well, with you going in and you actually changing that to what I just told you, it's actually going to lighten those corners up. Now, I do know from experience that whenever you actually, you know, walk into the room, if you give it just a few minutes, yes, it does lighten up once you get in. But you want it to automatically just be there and ready to go to where it's not, oh, I have to enter the building first in order to make sure the brightness, you know, or the lightness starts coming out. You want it to automatically be there the moment you walk in so you can see those corners. Now, as far as gamma, listen, you want to be very, very careful with gamma, okay? Because gamma is like you can get all of them shadows back or you can take all those shadows out, but then you get this crazy stupid brightness along with it. So my personal, you know, experience, I would say just leave gamma alone. Now, let's go back to shadows. I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. If you can run shadows at 0%, I would absolutely do it. So let's just show you for experience. All right, I took it down to, I said 0, I'm sorry, to negative 100, okay? Let's go to done. Now, if we leave that at negative 100, look at the difference that it actually makes on these corners. So I'm come running in. Now, some people likes to add a little bit of the shadow stuff to it. But when you look out in the fields, look, you get a clearer view of everything. So if someone was to start running down this mountainside right here, I would actually be able to see him. It wouldn't be that, you know what, he's blending in because we have actually drowned all that out by adding these settings. All right, so that's all you've got to do. And you know what, nine times out of ten, all of you guys do have, you know, NVIDIA settings, usually. So all you got to do is just get in there and, you know what, set it up the best way that you like it. So just because I have mine on something doesn't mean necessarily that you have to run yours at the same thing. So just go in there, mess around with it, but pretty much every one of the ones that I showed you, you want to do that. Except, like I said, now when it comes to the shadows, let's go ahead and have a seat here. We'll go back into it. Of course, I would stick my head out the window when I hit that. All right, so let's just go back to, um, where was we at? 50%? I think it was negative 50. All right, so I'll get it. There we go. 
All right, so we go back to negative 50. Now remember, adding this shadow stuff can absolutely put strain on your PC as well. But it's nowhere near probably the strain that you're thinking. So now as far as myself, I do like to add a little bit of shadows, but they do recommend that you guys go in there and actually, you know, you don't add all of this stuff to it. You know, like don't go in there and add all the shadows and stuff if you don't have to add the shadows because it's actually better for you and you'll be able to see a lot clearer throughout the game, okay? So, just make sure that whatever you do, that you just don't overdo it. All right, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna find another little parking spot over here. I'm gonna try to go inside this building, but I wanna try to show you as I enter this building what I was meaning. So let's just jump through the window and you see these corner spots? Like, let's see, can we go upstairs? All right, these corner spots, you can actually see like these, they're not all dark to where you can't see what is going on inside of them. And that's what I like about it. And I think that, you know what, it would be what's best for all of you guys if you were able to actually, you know, get in there and see that. See, once you come in, there it is. All right, don't want to repeat myself too many times, but I hope you understand where I'm going with that. Now, Alt plus Z is going to take us back into filters. Now we're going to click add filter again. You're going to add details. Once you get inside of details, you've got sharpen, clarity, HDR toning and bloom. All right, as far as your sharpen, you want to put it on zero. Sharpen is the one that can really just damage the GPU in a like bad. I'm not saying it's going to start smoking, but you can damage it as far as in putting a lot more pressure on it, putting the heat on it. You don't want to do that, okay? You want to keep it calm as possible. Yes, we all want a little bit of sharpen, you know, to our video and the way it looks, but look at the lighting on it right now as what you see on the floor. The lighting looks a hundred times better with the way we have it, just with the brightness and contrast. So keep the sharpen down. Now we're going to go to clarity. Clarity is going to smooth it up. It's going to take that cloudiness away from it. And you want to use every bit of the clarity. Clarity is going to be the top number one thing inside of the NVIDIA settings that you as a Call of Duty player want to use. I promise you that. So turn that clarity all the way up. Now HDR toning actually is going to fall back on the uh, clarity. These are the two that kind of run together, but of course, clarity is your number one. So your HDR toning, you want to run it anywhere between 70 and 90%. I run mine at about 81, so just get in there, mess around with it, play, kind of see what's best for you, and go, like I said, 70 to 90. And just, you know, you can hit me in the comments and let me know what was better for you because I honestly would love to know what settings you guys chose. Or you can drop a video and, hey, come back and drop a link to right here. Let me know. I'll go in and I'll check out your settings. Also, when it comes down to bloom, do not jack it up. If we jack up the bloom, look what's going to happen. You see the difference? We brought the cloudiness right back to the game. Now, let's say if we got it turned off and we got the HDR toning. All right, see how it gets darker? We don't want that, and we don't want too much light on it. So we're going to run it at about 81%. Like I said, 70 to 90 is great. Let's say we turn the clarity down. Watch the video. There it was. It absolutely got 100% blurry, and it looked crazy. But before you guys actually have the NVIDIA overlay turned on, that's what your guys, you know, all of you are pretty much looking at a game that's blurry because when you're running through the fields, that's what you're seeing. So you know what? That's all that you have to add right there. We're going to go ahead and finish out this Call of Duty game. And, of course, we're probably going to die. But anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed these uh, settings. I hope they do help you out. And I hope your video settings actually get a lot brighter, a lot smoother, cleaner the way that you want it. And if I can help you in any type of way, you guys already know, drop it in the comment section below. I'm happy to help you at any point in time. Other than that, guys, hey, y'all already know, be legendary, trippy up, and I'll see you guys on the other side. Have a good day, guys.
All right, guys. So the last thing that I want to talk to you guys about, you got to see as I actually went through the whole game, you got to see the lighting. I didn't go back and change anything on you guys to try to make it look like I just wanted to talk you guys into something. So the last thing I want you to do is I want you to make sure that you actually change one more thing inside of your settings. And the way you're going to do this is, of course, go down to the bottom right hand corner and you're going to actually see one that says nvidia settings whenever you click on that give it just a few minutes of course it's going to pop up and it's going to look like this first off i want you to go to manage 3d settings okay whenever you go to manage 3d settings you're actually going to come right here you're going to see where it says program settings when you go to program settings you want to go right here it says select a program to customize so when i first opened this up a few minutes ago before you know when i was preparing for the video the way that it actually happened was it automatically showed OBS. Now on yours, it could show God only knows what. Maybe another game that you were playing, you know, for example. So what you want to do is just click this arrow right here and you want to make sure that you choose the one that says Modern Warfare. Now, even though it doesn't say Warzone, Modern Warfare, of course, is still Warzone because it gets, you know, the game is actually played through Modern Warfare. You catch where we're going here. Make sure that you choose that one. And then what you want to come down to is you want to come down to image sharpening. Yours is probably going to say off if it's, you know, just left alone. And what you want to do is you just want to click on this little box over here. And if it says off like right here, which is one of your main NVIDIA settings, you want to make sure you go down and turn it on. Okay. Whenever it gets turned on, then you want to come down to where it says sharpen and you can mess around with this. This is more of a personal preference because some people likes it to be very, very bright. And some people, you know, like it in the middle, like myself or some people people like it you know like really really low now I would prefer to tell you guys that I would go over and move this little blue line and move it all the way over until you get to 0 0.80 okay that is just like the best spot to leave the sharpen because remember inside of the game we actually reversed the sharpen and the reason that we left the sharpen alone inside of the game remember I told you guys you could put it on what you wanted but you got to remember this is your main NVIDIA control panel right here so when the sharpen is actually set here you don't have to go inside of the NVIDIA overlay and swap it out so please whatever you do put this one on uh, the 80 and leave the other one like I showed you you also want to make sure that you come down the uh, ignore film grain. It's probably going to be probably like right through here somewhere closer to the middle. You want to drag it all the way down. Remember, we don't need that extra grain in there because we did go in there and we actually got to change that part that actually pulls out all of that, you know, shadow, crazy looking cloudy, I guess is what we'll call it. So you don't have to worry about that. When you're done, just be sure that you hit OK. And right here at the bottom, it could possibly say apply. If it does, make sure that you click apply. The next thing that I want you to go to is I want you to make sure that you go to adjust desktop color settings, okay? Make sure you're on the correct monitor. Once you go to that, you're gonna leave everything alone except you want to come down to right here where it says digital um, vibrance. You want to click here, okay? So with you coming down here and changing this right here, what you're going to do is you're not really doing a whole lot to this, but you want to take and make sure that this is plus 70%. Okay. So if you've actually got your digital vibrance turned up a little bit, it brings out that colorness. Now, let me see if I can change a little bit. If we pull it down, do you see how the game automatically got gray on us? So this here just pretty much gives us the color we need. If we turn it all the way up, not only does it put a strain on our card, but see how much brighter things are? You may like it like that. I don't. So once again, that is another personal preference. I would run it about 70 if I was you. You, you can go between 70, 75, but anywhere between uh, 70 and uh, 90 is where I would run this setting. So I'm gonna run it on about 71-ish, I guess. So put it on 71, make sure that, you know what I'm saying, you just click apply and go with it. But mine's already set, so we're just gonna go ahead and hit cancel. We're gonna roll out of this setting, okay? So let's see, I had it on 70 to begin with. Okay, so like I said, between 70 and 90. And once you're done there, close out, and your game is perfectly fine to go. If you ever want to go back and change this, then just make sure that you take pictures or something with your cell phone or try to remember it in your head where you actually had the settings. And you know what? You can leave it 
perfectly normal. But keep in mind, once again, like I told you in the beginning of the video, if you jack this setting up too high, any of them, you can put a lot of strain on your GPU and just possibly on your computer in general. And you do not want to do that. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope it's helped out. And you know what? I hope you consider smacking the like button. We'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.